Here's where we start for you on all angles this hour. Deep Slurt residents continue to protest, demanding that President Cyril Ramaphosa go and address them. Yesterday, they marched to a local police station, uh, demanding or demanding that the area as high crime be addressed. ENC's Mangoba Mkunu has the story. He joins us live now from Deep Slurt. Uh, Mangoba, a little earlier on, you were speaking to another community leader, a priest, who is saying, in fact, tomorrow leaders are supposed to be engaging with President Cyril Ramaphosa. Well, certainly that's the understanding that we had, Masiejo, from the community leaders who were saying that uh, they'd received correspondence from the president's office uh, saying that uh, they will be meeting uh, with the community leaders tomorrow. Of course, this uh, to answer to some of their concerns. Uh, you recall that uh, they'd essentially asked for the president to come to this area and this is why they went to the union buildings last week uh, to request the office of the president to engage with them and to invite the president to come to this community. So what we understand is that there is a meeting that was scheduled for tomorrow, of course, to speak with uh, some of the officials from government. Uh, we know uh, from what the Minister of Police had said that uh, the tactical teams are going to be deployed here in Deep Street. And these are officials from the various government departments, the Home Affairs Department, uh, the Justice Department, uh, the Human Settlements Department, as well as the Police uh, Department. They were going to be here uh, to engage with the leaders uh, as to when uh, the ministers can come uh, to this community. But um, we understand that uh, that meeting was scheduled for tomorrow, but with the arrests uh, that have happened, we're not quite certain what's going to happen. But just speaking to one of the uh, leaders of that delegation that went to the union buildings last week, uh, Reverend Tukwane uh, Dituch, saying that uh, that engagement is still going to continue. Of course, they're quite worried and shocked about the arrests that have happened here. But I can tell you, Masiko, that uh, we're seeing community members starting uh, to regroup and uh, seemingly uh, wanting to come and um, uh, hold a demonstration outside the police station. I want to bring in one of the community leaders uh, just to get a sense of what's going to happen with the protest. Uh, Obert, uh, if I can just ask you to come closer. Yes. Baba, uh, obviously, how do you feel about the fact that uh, some of your leaders were arrested earlier on? Because of today, we are not going to bend the tire. We just only protest. But now, re agree le bona, then re protest re tswa mare re go re tsa magatsela straight to the mall. So after that, ke mo ba re tswalla ka mo pele ka 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 vene a bona. Ba thoma uri uri shita ka di ka di ka di ka di ra ba bullet le tia gas. So is is where by they arrest some of our leader, two of them. They spray one of us, one of our leader with the pepper spray. Yes. So uh I mean, this obviously, uh, you know, has uh, meant that uh, you'd had to disperse. What's going to happen now? Now we are not going to disperse. We are not going anywhere. If they want to arrest us, they can come and arrest us, all of us as a community. Because we, we are not going to allow them to do what they, are, they think. Yes. So what's going to happen if you're saying that uh, you, you want, uh, obviously, to continue the protest? What's happening with the protest? Uh, is this continuing or are you saying that you are now demonstrating here outside? We are, we are going to protest un until uh, the whole night we will be on the street. The strike is not, uh, is not, uh, is, is not off. We are, we are going to protest until the, or the whole night, until t tomorrow. Because Mapodisa, uh, those two guys, so to protest so do you feel that uh, this were intimidation tactic yeah they, they intimidate us they try to intimidate, uh, intimidate us to stop us to what we are doing we are not going to stop we will fight until Yes. So, as I understand, you're saying that you're going to regroup as resident? Yes, we are still waiting for uh, another uh, community to come. We are still mobilizing the, another community to come and join us. Yes. So, what happens to those talks, though? Uh, do you think that uh, perhaps this uh, you know, if affects those talks that you're meant to have uh, tomorrow? Of course, you're also part of the delegation that went to the union buildings. Does this affect the talks at all that you're going to have tomorrow? 
uh, with officials from government. Yeah, it's, uh, it's affecting uh, us because of they try to stop us and we are not going to stop. They must release those two guys, then we will go to the office of the president. If not? If not, we will be, we'll be here until the, the, the whole week. We will, hear, we will be here. We will protest until they, uh, they, they release them. Okay, thank you very much. That was uh, Robert Mpoku, who's one of the leaders uh, that has been uh, in the forefront and in the front line of this particular protest. Mama, now we are going to talk to you. Thanks. What I just want to say, and I just want to ask the president, is it the apartheid in reverse? Because in 1976, when we, when we were marching against the apartheid government and Africans, we were arrested and we have been killed. Now we are protesting against crime. Our leaders are arresting. What is going on in our government? Did we vote for this to be abused, to be persecuted by the, all those we have put, we put our trust to them? I just want to know from the president, because we respected the office of the president, who were there in the union building, to just in, uh, highlight what is happening in our community in Deep Slut. But now our leaders, they are trying to shut what is happening in Deep Slut. We have been dying in Deep Slut. What, is, what are you saying, Mr. President, about your own people, about the people who voted you to be in that big office in Union Building? I just want to know. Mm. So, Mama, remember you were also part of the delegation that went to the Union Buildings. Are you upset uh, that these leaders have been arrested? Yes, I'm very upset. And I'm more than upset because we talk and they understand what, what is our aim. We are not criminals, and we can't our own community see destroy. We can't destroy the community we, we build it. This community we are from Alexander. We were staying in Extension 1 in, in, Shek, in Shaks. But do you think we can destroy our own community? But the only problem is the killings, is the crime. So we can say we must die. Uh, the president and the government of today, it, it, they want us to surrender. Mm. So to say, can we must, be, must die in the hands of the criminals, mm. in the hands of illegal immigrants. Mm. What is the meaning of that? Mm. It means they love the immigrants more than their country. No, but I can quote one from Czech Wavara when they say, the, the, the people liberated themselves. Now we are going to liberate ourselves from you, Mr. President. We are going to liberate us because if we, can, we are going to fold, because you want us to fold our arms, can we fold our arms? We had done this in 1976. We are going to do it again. So what do you want to see my happening with uh, those that have been arrested? What is it that you want to see? Well, I want those who are arrested to be released. What did they do? Can we protect the corrupt police? Because what they want us today, we must say, oh, thank you, you are right. What is the meaning of that? Just imagine on Saturday, we are going to bury our chairperson, CPF chairperson, who was working day and night in this community, but he died in the barrel of a gun from the criminals. What is that? Okay. Thank you very much, Mamo Porsche Monakali, uh, who's one of uh, the leaders that went uh, to the union buildings, uh, quite upset, and of course saying that they're quite disappointed at uh, what has happened here today, that the leaders, the people that have been fighting for this community have been arrested. We're seeing uh, community members uh, regrouping here, and uh, of course they're quite upset, as you can hear, uh, saying that they want their leaders uh, to be released here from prison, and they are saying that the way in which they were detained and arrested uh, shows that uh, the police had it for them, and they were targeting uh, these leaders of this protest. Um, we also also going to get an update. We understand that there have been uh, quite a number of uh, people uh, that have been arrested. I think uh, the count now uh, that uh, so far we know and what we saw, it's three people that have been arrested. Uh, but um, as you can hear, community members quite upset. Let's just listen to what they say. We must just go 
about the station commander. Why Yesterday you denied the fact. Luyuso told you yesterday that we know who you are planning to arrest us. You knew, but today you are arresting them. Yesterday you denied the fact that you are going to arrest Lefa and Luyuso, but today you are doing the same. What you are getting on to a yet and listen to the session commander. It seems like whatever pains that you are feeling when you don't, you care less. You are careless, Carona, whatever we are planning. You are careless. How feel the pain every feeling in Mutsuadi? Lose and one each and every night, but to what of a modest mumu dip sloot under under you were in a station commander. Halibur, I can America, Colopala, go to the Muscata camp, Salas, it's my fellow, go to Samaya, let's zone a dip suit of a Jadis scope. Hand America, Peggy Kale and only feel a clear message. Let's stop in this rubber bullets, Salona, Mar still your crew against Leone, Lippers about to go to rubber bullet, Lippers spray. No, you're today, you knew who you are in aim. Why are you feeling the pepper spray? No man releasing them. By releasing, please. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm a foreigner. I celebrate. Tinas is all a group. Or the Guzzo and Gonamas told me to allow you to name Ganesa to Zola Kona, the police station. Since Zola Lakup in Abantana, to go around by a celebrate about about 20 weeks, walk watch of Wenko Kelly Z, Bayan Zen, Namchanji sends a peaceful match. As I'm a city satire, as I'm a shy moon to, as I'm a sense the next. But what you did to the Zapan, the American, or the Bazoyan's American and that, Abbas Bulal is fine. I wouldn't have a strong level. If for Bafunus Bulala, you're not to buy Funile, but for Lagum Sevens, but it's in a small combis given which is the group. Bona Baholela in as a Banbaga government, O government to buy Cashela in, Yenabai Cashel Baholela in, Mabas of Funela, eating Tinam Pagat, Tinamas Bambeli, Kebang, Sibaniga Zebon, Bona Baba Tatelimal, Baba with Salam Pagat in foot, Babu Yalaba and Bazo Bulala, and Amdo Buba Combi, Lutib. No, and get us peeling a lentil. Is South Africa saying a year to man the second year by Yabantu? Say, oh, man, I'm not saying a buzz in a map poise. Tina as the South Africans are seen now with protection who protect Taban Banga Panda and a perspective. Tina eat a civil type, civil in, civil safar, civil bulao, sing a babandana bet each and every day, sing a baba put tibet to sing a baba sibet each and every day by a bulao, every day by Kazuki, one of my abyss of what I was a topist to move to Belskang, Bazo topist to Belis to Bemkakin. Now I'm going to know fifteen years of Salon in Pilaya can understand as La Lele peaceful no more can't in one genel. I'm a poison and a log, um paga to who are Pumilo, I open this cabin was Nigas and Paga. I'm a poison. Manja tina first pile ngai pile zele tupsuti. Aba yenzi marikana leba funu giyans. Anya tina sa marikana baba bula la bantu. Okay. Thank you, Baba. Well, she's quite emotional and angry, as you can hear, saying that um, you know what's going to happen now to the community. Uh, have they been left again uh, to the mercy of criminals in this community? Saying that where are they going to sleep tonight if um, their leaders have been arrested? This means that the criminals that are terrorizing them are going to continue doing just that. Uh, she says that uh, you know they're quite upset at the police, and uh, you know they feel that. Uh, those that are being protected are those that are from outside this country more than the residents of this place. Uh, she had some quite harsh words for the police. I don't know whether uh, Captain uh, Mavela Masondo, uh, who's here from uh, the Gauteng police, is going to just give us an update, uh, uh, Babu Masondo, as far as the arrests are concerned uh, here in this um, community. We understand uh, that uh, there have been uh, a number of arrests uh, that have been made uh, here, uh, some of them uh, including, of course, uh, community leaders uh, that were leading in the front lines uh, this protest that was taking place here. Uh, just an update, uh, Babu Masondo as far as the rest are concerned so far? Yes, uh, we can confirm that uh, there are three people that have been uh, arrested uh, for public uh, violence. We know that uh, this has been uh, going on for almost uh, four days now. So we decided that no, we need to, to do something uh, to, to, to stop this. Then we tried to find out who are the people that are responsible for this uh, violent uh, protest. It's then that uh, we arrested uh, these uh, three people that were part of this uh, violent protest. And in terms of charges, what uh, charges are they facing? Uh, the, the charge that they are facing now, it is a uh, public uh, violence. We know that there are lots of things that have been uh, happening. The roads were barricaded. There are people that, uh, more especially business people that were, were threatened. 
So the charge for now is a public violence. And in terms of the protest, we saw uh, a lot of police uh, uh, here on the ground. Uh, what's happening uh, with, with regards to the protest and uh, the deployments here? Yes, uh, that is very true. Uh, we had to uh, mobilize uh, more police officers to come here in uh, Deep Scott because we see that we saw that uh, it was now getting uh, out of uh, hand, and uh, they will keep on monitoring. Uh, the, the, the area, if there are more people that engage in the violent protest, they will also be arrested. What would you say uh, to claims by community members that are saying that uh, the police are simply intimidating them, these are intimidation tactics and that you're targeting their leaders? No, it's not uh, intimidation uh, per se. I remember that as the police we've got an obligation to, to, to protect uh, other people that are not part of the of this uh, protest. So we've got uh, citizens here in uh, Deep Slot. We've got people that are running businesses here in uh, Deep Slot that were not part of this uh, protest. So then we had to uh, protect them. We had to protect their property as well. So are the police still going to remain visible here? Yes, uh, police visibility has been intensified and will continue to uh, monitor uh, the area. We are even expecting more police officers to come to the ground. And I just want to ask you about this because this is what residents have also been saying, that when it comes to protests, it seems like there's a lot of police deployment, uh, but when it comes to crime fighting itself here, yeah, uh, they're not seeing police on the ground. Uh, I, I, I must say that there are police that have been here in a, in, in a plot uh, to combat crime, and there are a lot of people that we arrested here in Deep Slot after uh, committing uh, crime. So, but uh, in as far as the protest is uh, concerned, to say that there were a number of people now that were now in, engaged or involved in this uh, violent uh, protest. That's the reason that we had to mobilise uh, more police officers to come this side. No, thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, Captain uh, Masondo from the police here in Gauteng. Just giving us an update as far as what is happening here is concerned. Uh, police are out, uh, he says, and they'll be monitoring the situation uh, you know, to ensure that uh, the protesters don't regroup. But I just want to show you this side. Already we're seeing quite a number of community members here outside the police station. They're here to demonstrate, uh, saying that they want their leaders uh, to be released. Uh, they're saying that uh, they feel feel that uh, they are being uh, targeted and that these are intimidation tactics really by the police uh, to try and stop this protest. They say they don't understand why uh, the leaders were arrested because uh, they feel that their protest is genuine as far as calling for crime to end in this community is concerned. Live for us in Deep Slit. Let's leave it there for now.